Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do part two of converting the BYJ, uh, the 28BYJ-48 stepper from unipolar to bipolar mode. As you see here, um, we've got the uh, unit working. Um, actually, it wasn't as hard as I thought to, to wear it up. Uh, from the first video, uh, there were a number of questions. How do I figure out the the wiring combination? So I've um, done a little bit here to help with that. I'll get to that in a second. What we're doing to drive it, because uh, the old style drivers uh, don't work uh, any longer that come with it. So what we're using is we're using a driver board. So this is, uh, I'll put some links uh, in the description as well as on the website where you can get this driver board. This is a little bit of the older version. Uh, it was put out by Sane Smart in both Adafruit. Uh, I think it's just a common one. Uh, basically, it can drive two DC motors. It can drive two stepper motors. Um, it can drive two servos. Uh, really, a, a, just a neat board to have around the lab for generally experimenting. And I, I really suggest having one of these just handy for this type of stuff. So, uh, you know, in this case, it's acting as an H bridge for the uh, bipolar. Um, and we have it hooked up to stepper two. As you see, we have our two sets of magnets here. Uh, it will run unipolar also, so you could run this very motor unmodified uh, with this board also simply by connecting the red also to this uh, ground pin in the center. So one of the things you'll notice, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, it's, it's got M3, M4. So M1, M2, M3, M4. Uh, so this is basically for motor one, motor two, coils one and two, coils three and four, and then obviously ground in the middle. You can, I don't know if you can see the, the ground in the camera. So anyways, uh, this board is also hooked up to a 5-volt power supply uh, in here, and I'm running the uh, uh, little bit modified sketch library. Now, I will put the sketch library up on the website. Uh, DIY3DTech.com. You can go there. The uh, sketch code will be up there that I've uh, modified slightly. This is running a micro step uh, at uh, 10 RPM. And uh, the, the torque output, one, you might remember one of the reasons we did this was the torque output. Now, this mode has been running continuously for about 10 minutes. It's not, it's just slightly warm, you know, not bad at all. And the, the power output is significantly different. You might remember it in the, the first video we mentioned going from something like um, 350 grams per centimeter to 850 or 900 uh, grams per, per centimeter, almost doubling the output. I, I definitely believe it. I'll be doing some other videos of putting this in action, but uh, what I'm really doing is thinking about converting a number of these, and uh, I've seen some 3D printers out there and everything based upon it, and it might be just a neat, fun little project to do. Uh, if not, even a robotic project with this because with this uh, driver board you could run two of these so you could build a small robot. Um, uh, again, uh, you could run it with a CNC shield uh, to run a small machine. For example, uh, for the laser project I'm working on, we have the CNC shield here which um, uh, you could also use to run this and actually I had bought one of these to run it and I discovered I had one of these laying in the bottom of my junk box so I decided to use this instead and uh, as you can see it's working pretty good so again the code will be up on the site but let's talk about uh, finding the wires first so uh, not too hard finding the wires what I definitely do is suggest using a multimeter just turn it to its lowest settings and kind of turn around so you can see it here. No, no, nothing major. Basically, uh, you will probe the, you know, pairs until you basically hit where you have continuity, and the meter will show continuity. It's really not that complex. You'll get it twice and only twice, and then this will indicate the magnets. What you might have recalled from, uh, you know, the last episode, I showed some stuff. Basically. Uh, by converting it uh, from unipolar to bipolar, you, we, we increase the size of these magnets. And so this is what actually ends up giving it more torque. So there's two. So 
in my combination, I think this is probably going to be general. You'll need to check it in your own case. But for me, it was blue and yellow and orange and pink. And again, I'll put that uh, as an overlay in the video, but blue and yellow, orange and pink. And you can kind of think of it as the outside. So blue and yellow on the, on the outside, pink and orange are on the inside. And so we can kind of see here, uh, hopefully you can see the colors. This might be actually a, a magenta or something like that, but I'm going to call it pink for the time being. So you see here, you have blue, pink, orange, yellow. So it's blue and yellow form one magnet, pink and orange form the other magnet. And, uh, you know, what I've simply done here is I've taken some, you know, stripped away Cat5 cable and, and used four of the strands to extend this over to the uh, actual controller itself. So, uh, anyways, uh, as you can see, it's working. This is, this is uh, running in micro-step mode. That's how I, it seems to run the best. So that's how the code will be up on the site, is in the microcode uh, format, or micro, sorry, not microcode. I'm a little bit lost here. It's early Saturday morning. So microstep, uh, and it'll be up on the website. So uh, again, uh, the modification of the motor is easy. You can see that I put a link to the first video. You can see I was able to get this, this actually snap back on without using uh, any glue, so it kind of went back to normal. I unsoldered the... Uh, red wire after we cut the trace as you, as you will see in the first video if you haven't watched it and uh, voila uh, I'll be putting out another video uh, shortly you know showing the motor in actual physical use and uh, again appreciate your like below uh, again a uh, simple click of that like button helps us produce more videos and get more content out there uh, we will be doing some upcoming videos on the CNC shield showing how to wire this and how this all hooks up uh, so it's a little bit confusing at first it kind of looks a little bit daunting but this again will be for our laser cutter project so it's coming along nicely and we'll do some more videos on that so see you in the next video cheers